I, I did it again. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, here, let's uh, let's just go ahead and comb the hair real quick. Um, it makes it just a little bit better for for viewing here, guys. Um, wow. One of these days, I'll actually get it that I've got to comb the hair before I click go live on the camera. Uh, but um, pop that over there. But uh, welcome to my creaky chair again, <laughs> and uh, Hot Wheels and uh, Dork. And, you know, we've got, I'm, I didn't actually grab something old to show you this time when I left this morning. Um, I'm usually out of the house super early every Friday um, because I've there's a, a handful of folks that join me for coffee for every Friday morning, usually anywhere between... Man, I think at this point we've been doing this for, we've been doing that for about uh, four years now. There's a couple of hundred people on that list. And we have anywhere from, um, depending on the, the morning, like this was, this is Good Friday. So happy, uh, in, ha happy Good Friday and a very happy Easter to everyone celebrating that. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend with your family if you're, uh, you know, whether you're, uh, this is a, whether you're observing a devout holiday or this is something that's just a, a little bit fun for you and the kids. I, I hope it's, I hope it's a great time for you, however you observe it. And, but, um, you know, again, every Friday morning, a uh, handful of us that, that meet for coffee and I've, it's a group that I've had for about four years and even though this was Good Friday, I think we had about 15, 15, 16 of us total this morning. Uh, and uh, then there's another show that gets recorded right after that. And at any rate, um, I, I don't even know where I was going with that. What was I saying? <laughs> uh, but I, because I, oh, that's right, because I get up early every Friday. I wasn't, I should have been prepared last night and grabbed something to put in my, my Friday go bag. And, uh, I, I just didn't think about doing it. This has been kind of a, the last two weeks, these last two weeks have been kind of crazy because my own personal schedule has changed dramatically on some things that I've been doing. Uh, so, uh, we're, we're producing shows on different days and uh, adjusted the Hot Wheels in a Dork show, which you're watching right now. And thanks for hanging in there with me on that. Um, and we're doing that every Thursday and Friday now. And uh, I, I just forgot to grab an old one to show you guys uh, something out of my collections because I know that's the, the intent. Um, I don't have an old open one with me this morning or uh, this afternoon, actually. This is live right now this afternoon. Uh, but we do have this new pack right here, brand new five pack. And I'll bring that in just a little bit closer. Um, I don't really like the top one, the green one. Um, it's a Mustang, which is cool, but it's just, that's just a little too goofy for me. But, you know, I know these are not made, <laughs> these are not made for grown men. Uh, even though there seems to be an enormous amount of, uh, amount of us collecting these things and having fun with them. Uh, I actually do like I do like um, the the convertible Mustang. I I like the Cougar. Uh, the the Mercury's answer to that. Uh, the '98 Pontiac Firebird, and then the the Chevy pickup down. I really like that down here at the bottom. That's really cool. But this pack has a '68 Mustang at the top, '65 Ford Mustang convertible, '69 uh, Cougar Eliminator, a '98 Pontiac Firebird. And then uh, 62 Chevy pickup. And yes, I am going to open this, even though I like all these. This is the, um, what is that? The HW Hot Wheel Flames, HW Flames uh, five pack. The HW Flame, Flames five pack. And uh, the, even the back of this box is pretty cool. You can check that out. I do like these, but we are going to go ahead and open this. I don't have... So I'll, I'll I'll definitely you know next Thursday we'll have uh, something of mine out of my personal collection that's old uh, and then uh, we'll be opening another new set. I don't know if we're gonna open a set. I actually have another five pack, and I think I mentioned this not too long ago, but it's actually it's Matchbox. It's not Hot Wheels, and I really I debated on what I would open today. I'm gonna go with this because I I like I like four of these. Top one, eh? I mean. 
I like the green color, but I don't know. It just seemed that one seems a little goofy. I don't know. But again, I know that they don't sit around thinking, you know, what do what do what kind of Hot Wheel toys do men in their 50s like? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and try and get this. Man, I've got to use some carrier because I'm actually using an, a knife. Don't do this at home if you're not an adult and not supervised. Um, you know, it's I've always got uh, generally, well, that didn't really go well at all, did it? Look at that. That's all I succeeded in doing there. Um, you know, generally, I've got a pocket knife handy. Um, you know, oh my gosh, it's, it'd be, oh no, you, you know what, guys, before the world got really freaking nuts, I'm walking around with a pocket knife. That's something that we started doing when we were kids, little kids. Um, you always had your pen knife or your pocket knife or somebody's dad gave him a Swiss army knife or whatever. I always had those handy, but, uh, okay. Got that open. Got this open. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. You guys know I don't like doing this. <laughs> so got that open. And I'll I'll sign this somewhere. I'll probably tuck these back in here, tape it back up. Once it's done, it'll go over on the shelf. There's a shelf. I think maybe I'll turn this a bit. Uh, you can kind of see the cars that have opened in the past back over here. That's the ones that we've opened. They've been signed. The cars are actually on the... And they're actually taped to the packs themselves. And, uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to take a look at each one of these here. We're just going to pop these out and do that. And, uh, okay, here's the one that I'm not all that fond of. I like the color, though. I do like the green. Um, this is, I mean, they're all going to be great rollers because they're brand new cars. Um, I don't know. You guys can, you know, anybody who happens to watch this, tell me what you think about that. I It just seems kind of goofy to me. Um, the big tires, big wheels on the back, and I don't know. This one just seems, eh, I, I don't know. It's, it's, this is kind of silly. And I like the stylized cars. You guys actually saw the ones on the, if you watched the last episode, the one I did yesterday, they're stylized. They kind of remind me of the old Speed Racer cards, and you guys know how much I love Speed Racer this one i'm just not that fond of i don't know i'm gonna pop it back in uh and it's is is that where it goes now i gotta figure that out again how does this go back in here um oh it goes like that there we go that goes in there like that now we have um and these are all ooh, this is the 65 mustang convertible and again, okay, yeah, these, I think, no, this is made in Indonesia. Are these all Indonesia? Or are they, are some of them Malaysia? Indonesia. Um, this one is Indonesia. And do we make anything here in America anymore? This is Indonesia. And uh, one, the green one. The green one is uh, blah, 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 Indonesia. So all these are made in Indonesia. These are all Indonesia base. And But this, I mean, this actually is probably the closest that I've come to finding that reminds me of my dad's Mustang that I told you guys about that he had when I was little. And that's because this is primarily white. You know, they've all got the flames painted on the side. But this has that red interior. My dad had the red pony interior. And on my dad's car, on the back seat, it actually had this big seat, this big embossed stitched seam all the way across the back seat. And even on the front seats, there were there were horses. But this had a big horse scene, the ponies there. And it had like, I think it had the word pony written on it. Um, it was, man, it was a cool car, nice car. Uh, and I wish I remembered the whole story of that, but somebody at some point in time followed him home one day and broke one of the windows and threw a road flare in the back seat and burned it up. Um, just the people do the dumbest stuff. People, uh, sometimes, sometimes people just kind of suck. 
Uh, but a lot of times, thankfully, people are really, really cool. <laughs> so, but uh, his was not a convertible, though. Uh, his was a hard top. So, but this is the closest I've seen. But I really, I like the white. I like the detail of, of the front end there. Let's see if I can get that to zero in or focus a little bit better there for you. Um, I don't know if it wants to or not. I do like the detail on this. I really like this one. This is, this is pretty cool. So I'll pop that back in there. Uh, I think next up was the Cougar. And I once, I once had a friend who had a, I think he had a couple of Mercury Cougars. And the Cougar was kind of like the Mercury response, I guess, to the Mustang maybe and then the, the, the Chevy Camaro and such. Um, the yellow, and this has got the red interior. It's probably got the same interior as that Mustang there. Um, I don't imagine they vary the interiors that much from platform to platform because the bases are all pretty similar except for what goes on here. I, you know, it's uh, the, the, the lettering that gets, uh, what the heck, this is, this is probably plastic injection molded the base. That's probably a mold uh, somewhere there in, in Indonesia where they put this one together. Uh, so, but I'll hold that up. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. We'll add zero. Will that zoom? There we go. That's a nice zoom in there. And, and actually you can kind of see that interior a little bit. Can we get a nice zoom? Come on, zoom camera, do your job, do your job. Ah, you can, but the, the interior, but I do like, I like the yellow. The yellow's cool. And I'm not that fond of yellow cars. I've never, ever owned a, have I ever? I have never owned a yellow car. Not that I can remember. I don't think I have. Um, um, but that's, you know, here we're talking about uh, uh, more than 40 years of car driving and, and having different cars. So I don't think I've ever had a yellow car. I like this. This is cool. I like that, though. And then next we have the 98 Pontiac Firebird. And I tell you what, my wife loves Firebirds and Camaros. Um, she, now you guys know that I geeked out over Speed Racer in the Mark V. She, growing up, absolutely adored Kit from the Knight Rider show. She could have cared less about uh, Hasselhoff or anybody else on the show. She was absolutely in love with the Knight Rider car. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And um, uh, they they don't have the one they have at the Volo Auto Museum. And I talked about seeing the the Mark V there, uh, Volo Illinois Volo Auto Museum. They've got a kit model from one of the I think later series or episodes. That one is just kind of, eh, it's not as cool as the original kit. Um, I don't know. They, they did some mods and things to it. But this, I really, man, I like this blue. This blue on this car. I can get that up there a little bit better for you. Can I get that a little closer? Will you zoom in, camera? Will you do your job? Um, this camera's got, it's got an autofocus. That, there we go autofocus it just sometimes doesn't seem to really want to do its dealio um dealio whatever do its job this has got the black interior there uh the, the windows are these black i think they're just black windows um but the interior is it's there you can kind of see it with the light going in uh I, there's probably no way you're going to be able to really get in and see that interior maybe yeah there we go kind of a bit yeah, you guys can see that, a little bit of that, so that's all right. Um, but the reason I bought this pack, other than the, the white Mustang, which, you know, this one, the white Mustang that I showed you a little earlier, which I really, really, re I, I like this. Again, it reminds me of the one that my dad had. Um, one day, maybe I will find a 65 uh, Mustang with the, the hard top that's just all in white and who knows? Maybe, maybe it may not be a Hot Wheel, but it, maybe it's out there. This though, I like this truck. I really like this truck. Something of a, a low rider truck, I suppose. I like the detail that is on in the back there. They did a really cool job with that. I like the purple, and they even did 
you know, it's a purple-ish, but pink kind of uh, pinkish interior. Let's see if you can see in there with that. I got it there a second ago. Can we get it? Can we get it? There we go, kind of. You can sort of see that. I like, I like the purple flames on this. Come on, zoom, 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 zoom. Camera, please, camera, do your do your good job there. Uh, if we can get that in there. I don't know. I like the flames on this. I like the wheels on here. And, it, you know, it's kind of in the style of a bit of a low rider truck. Um, it's a 62 Chevy pickup. Um, when, again, when I was younger, this was probably oh, the mid 70s. I think it was, it was either a 60, I think it was a 66 Chevy pickup that, and we lived way out in the country, way out in the country. And we were on a cistern, uh, well water, and we had to go pick up water. It had a great big tank. My dad had bought a 60, it was a 66 Chevy, I believe. And it was green. I remember that. And we had the great big water tank in the back. And I remember that we were only ever really supposed to fill it up like halfway, maybe three quarters. But, you know, then we would take it back and empty it into, you know, the well and then go back and get another half tank or three quarter and then come back and empty it. And we had to do like three trips every time we had to fill the well or the, the system, whatever it's called. And I know my dad just got really tired of having to do that. And I think he wanted to just maybe make one trip or two trips one time, but he filled the water tank and it was, the water tank was in like in the back of the truck. It was a big, big, like, um, plastic tank. It was a, a great big giant tank that was put in the truck. He had it put in the truck specifically for the purpose of filling with the water so we could take it back and forth easily rather than paying to have the water delivered because we used to have a water truck come out. I guess maybe that was expensive at the time. I mean, again, this is mid seventies somewhere, um, 74, 75, 76, something like that. And, um, got that truck. And I remember going out one time and he had actually taught me how to drive it. And, uh, you know, we, we, we lived way out in the country in Missouri you know, real dirt roads, back roads, gravel dirt roads. And we came up this, it was not an easy place to find. You came up then you went on another dirt road and then you went down and we lived sort of down in the, in the culvert thing. But we went and we got the, um, filled up the whole, I mean, he filled it up to the top. It's like, okay, we're just going to make a couple trips. I'm like, all right. Cause it was, I mean, it was a bit of a drive. Um, and was, like doing three trips was a whole day because you went out, filled it up, brought it back. I mean, it was a long day. So we filled it all the way up. I'm a kid. I don't know. Whatever. All right. I'm like, aren't we only supposed to get half a tank? He fills it all the way up. So we take off and we pull out of the place, go down the road and then go and just everything. You think these wheels sit high up into the wells? <laughs> what happened was the reason, as it turned out, that we were only supposed to get half a tank of water and was told this by the people that installed the tank, from what I remember now. Uh, and again, this is, I mean, more than 40 years ago we're talking. Uh, it was told that if you fill this all the way up, it's going to be too heavy and your axles are going to break. They're not going to support that much weight, that water. Water's freaking heavy, folks. Um, a gallon of water weighs about, what, eight pounds, I think, six, eight pounds. And so we were putting, I think that was that tank, I think it was a 250-gallon tank, 300-gallon tank, something like that. It was a big, I mean, this thing was huge. It was really, really big. I mean, it, it came out above the cab at the top. We were only supposed to fill it halfway. Broke the axle. Had to have another truck come get the water out of there. Had to drain that water actually out. Pull the tank out. 
get, get had to have that tank refilled, brought home by someone else with a bigger truck, then had to have this truck towed and this truck, uh, no, well, not the hot wheel, but the truck he had was junk. It was junked. Um, he sold it for scrap because there was no way, I guess he was, I guess whatever got broken in the axle and whatever else up in there just really did a messed up number on that. And, um, and that's, that's a bummer. Uh, it would have been cool to be able to, to have and enjoy that particular truck a lot longer, but I would actually, my next car that I get, I really would like to get a truck, an SUV, something that's a little bigger, a little higher. It's been a long time since I've actually had a truck or SUV. Um, been a long time, been a long while. And I kind of miss being up a little higher and being able to put stuff, you know, loads and such we've got kids uh, well we're, one is actually grad he'll have his master's our middle son will have his master's in june but our daughter still has many 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 years of college because she's uh what she's studying requires a phd ultimately and so she's got a long way to go so it'd be nice to actually pack a lot of stuff be able to do that guys that was um that's it for this episode of Hot Wheels and a Dork. I mean, I'm getting longer and longer at these. These were only supposed to be like 11, 12 minutes. And I've been yakking at you for 21 because, you know, I just had to tell you the story about my dad's old truck. Uh, but again, the Mustang, the truck, I like these two. This, this, this one and this are really why I bought this set. I don't really care for that green one. I don't care for it. But I'm going to pop that back in the box. I am going to sign the box. I'll tape it back up. I'll stick it over there with the others. And, and again, at some point, uh, when we start getting some serious views and uh, some things, what we'll probably do is wind up doing some giveaway things with these that I've already opened. And uh, again, if any of you, I know there are, again, people have talked about saying, hey, do you need a sponsor for Hot Wheels and a Dork? 24-7 uh, WPL right here behind me you guys can see it would love to have a sponsor for this a sponsor or two you know love to do that if any of you want me to open your cars on this uh shoot me a note 247 wpl at gmail.com again 247 wpl at gmail.com shoot me a note and i'll be happy to tell you uh how to get your cars here now once they come they'll live here uh so they're not going to come back to you but happy to tell you know maybe you've got a story that goes with your car that you send maybe there's a reason you got the hot wheel uh or or whatever car you want me to open there's a reason that you got it what it means to you it's it's kind of goofy and and this is again Opening these things is a little bit of uh, therapy for me because you guys know I don't like opening new stuff because we just never got new stuff as kids. I always wanted it to stay brand new, so I never would open them. But And again, next week, Thursday, when we come back for another episode, Thursday and Friday, two more episodes next week, um, I will have some cars from my own uh, existing collection to show you. And uh, then we'll be opening some brand new ones. But at any rate, that's it for this week's episode of Hot Wheels and the Dork. We'll catch you all next time. Again, have a wonderful good Friday. A very, very happy Easter uh, for all of you celebrating that. Uh, and uh, thanks for tuning in and catching this one. We'll catch you again later. So long.